Hi, this is Chi of the Chi Team, and welcome to another episode of HGTV. In this video, we're going to talk about the buyer's agency agreement. Previously, uh, we talked about the advantages of working with the buyer's agent and the buyer consultation. And now, since you feel comfortable with that agent that you'll be working with, well, you're going to sign the buyer's agency agreement. All right, so the very first important thing about the buyer's agency agreement, it is disclosing basically the parties that are involved, the brokerage and you, the buyer. When you sign this agreement, you're signing the agreement with the brokerage and not particularly that agent. Because if for some reason that agent leaves the brokerage, you still have that agreement with that brokerage you sign with. So that's very important to, to, to remember. All right, so the second important thing about this buyer agency agreement is to set up a time frame between working between you and the buyer's agent. So it could be three months usually, it could be six months. So you and the realtor determine the time frame that you want to work with each other. So the third important thing about the buyer's agency agreement is going to determine how the commission is going to be paid. Now your buyer's agent is going to determine their minimum commission is going to be paid, usually between two and a half percent to three percent, sometimes three and a half percent. So that agent is going to tell you what that commission is and that the listing that you're going to ultimately buy that listing going to determine how much commission is going to be paid to your buyer's brokerage uh, uh, agreement. All right. So that's very important to understand. The one instance uh, where it's majority of the time that's not going to be paid by that seller or that listing is that you're buying a house from a for sale by owner. This for sale by owner might say, you can buy my house, but I'm not going to pay your buyer's agent. So you have to determine how it's going to be paid either through you or negotiate to be paid by the seller. All right, so the fourth important thing is that there might be a situation where you come in with it with a dual agency agreement, okay? What that means is that you might be interested in a house that's actually listed with another realtor within the same office that your buyer's agent's working with, all right? And if you decide to buy that house, both you and the seller will have to sign a dual agency agreement agreeing that the whole transaction is under one roof. The dual agency re requires three licenses, your buyer's agent, the listing agent's license, and the broker's license. Now you might ask, well, why Chi, uh, do I have to sign this agreement? Is, is that one instance I can say is that I, your buyer, your buyer agent, I might be have interview with that seller and I know exactly what that seller is selling it for, want to sell it for, how much they owe, the motivation that they want to sell the property and move. So that seller might say, you know what, I don't want Chi to represent that buyer and I don't want to sign that dual agency agreement. So that's one instance where that might not be signed. All right. So as much as the buyer's agent wants to represent you as a buyer, there might be an instance where you might have to sign what's called understanding whom the real estate agent represent. When that happens is that you are buying a house that's actually listed with your buyer's agent. As I explained before, in Maryland, you can only represent either the buyer or the seller. So if you're interested in a house that's listed by your agent, that agent only represents, can only represent the seller. At that point, he or she does not represent you, okay? And that's when you sign this agreement knowing, stating that you understand that this agent is representing the seller. Now, at that point, you can have two scenarios. One, you can keep working with that realtor, but that agent is representing the seller at all times, okay? Or second, you can hire another buyer's agent to work with you and look out for your interest. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video about the buyer's agency agreement. If you have any more questions about this agreement or any of the process of the buying house, definitely give the Chi Team call at 410-303-6197. Once again, thank you for watching. 